darlings and chamois. Wait, what's plural for chamois? Chemise? You know, the antelope and goat kind of mixture of an animal that moves in the mountains. Anyways, welcome to my channel, Me and Places. I'm Paulina. And today I am in High Tatri. That's why I started with the mountain goat. I will go to check in to the guest house where I'm staying and I will show you that place. I've got my key. Let's find the room. Red carpet. A bit of uh, shining vibes. And that's my room. This is so retro, look at this radio player, I like it. Oh, I have a mirror and water and a small closet, that's so cute. It's probably the smallest closet I have ever seen. <laughs> Okay, now let's go and discover the small town of Stary Smokovets. I think it's like 20 minutes walk from here and that's where I will finally find some food. <laughs> the houses here are pretty amazing. They are all wooden and it looks like it was a big job to make them. For now I took a small path behind the, the beautiful building, the green and pink one. I don't know if there is anything to see here, but for now I'm just walking. Until I get so hungry, I run for food. There is some kind of sign. I have no idea what it says. You can see some information here. Calvary was created by professional artists, sculptors from both sides of Tatra, Slovakia and Poland as an honor to our mountains. That's beautiful. And here you can see the first one. Jesus is condemned to death. Well, that's one positive start for a hiking trail. Station number two. Jesus carries his cross. I actually really like this one. Especially the face carved here. Jesus supposedly. And these people looking up. Station number three. Jesus falls the first time. Station four done by Yaroslav Ganya. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. I would never guess that that's what this means, if it was out of context. Jesus meets his father. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Station 7, Jesus falls the second time. Stage 8, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. Station 9, Jesus falls the third time. Station 10, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Station 11, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Oh my freaking God! Station 12, Jesus dies on the cross. Just look at that. All those legs and arms. Station 13, Jesus is taken down from the cross. Station 14, Jesus is laid in the tomb. This is a cool one. This is done from metal. And it actually looks like the sheet. You know the sheet that still has the, supposedly, the marks of Jesus. And this is it. From here you can go back, same way or take this trail here. I'm 
not sure where the second road is going but uh, I'm going to come back same way because I want to take photos of some of the sculptures okay this was a nice walk apocalyptic rain didn't even start which is nice and also now we know there is this very easy small walk that anyone can do here which is very symbolic la, 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 la. I've got food and I've got mountains that's beautiful so let's check did we see all the sculptures yeah we did the one in the tomb was the last one now let's go eat finally So, I am eating a garlic soup with cheese and this one is a traditional food here, it's like a deep fried cheese. Okay, this was some really good traditional food and Slovakian wine as well. And now I'm fed and now I need some rest because it took me half day to, to actually come here from where I was in the morning. And in the morning I was in Spirsky Podhary. Uh, but yeah. I think even my flu is getting better, so I'm ready for a new adventure. So take a good rest and see you in the morning. And it's morning! Hello again. I am walking somewhere in Petranska Lomnica. I took a train here because this is a great place for hiking. So let's go. So there you can see this very expensive funicular but it takes you up to the starting point of many great hikes the first funicular didn't even go yet as you can see there is already a line of people waiting so i've got the ticket to Skalnata Kleso so there is actually three funiculars you can take it to the first stop to second stop or to third stop but i'm not going there I'm going to the second one and we will see what happens then. Lomnieski Štit is really pretty, even covered in clouds. But you can see there is observatory, and I think that's the way I need to go. Skalnate Pleso is a peculiar lake. Last year it dried out completely and then reappeared, as you can see, grey, green, and pretty. See the sign, Zelene Pleso? That's my road. If you're ever walking the boulder section, try to step on the boulders which are as big as possible because there is less chance that they will roll down under your feet. Oh, 
Remember when I started this video, I said hi darlings and chamois. This is chamois. I can finally greet it in real. This is so cool. And it's not scared of people at all. And it's much more skilled walking on these boulders than I am. There is finally a path section here, yay! The most scenic break I'm gonna have now. <laughs> See what's in my secret pouch. There is Cherne Plesso and Zelene Plesso. But the one that I can see as black from here is actually the green one. <laughs> I hope it's greener if we come nearer. It seems very far though. Looks like a long way from here. So from here you can hike the peak itself. Or you can follow this trail to Zelene Plesso, the lake I showed you on the map. And from here you can actually see Zelene Plesso. And it is green. It's the greenest green. And this one is really black. So they are named Zelene and Cherne Pleso for a reason. <laughs> the clouds are invading the mountain little by little. So far the path goes like this, all the way down, but I actually heard that this part is challenging because there is some climbing section with chains involved at some point. Let's see how it's gonna be. It's so near and yet so far. Here come the chains, I don't know if you can see that. So I packed my poles and see you on the other side. I hope it doesn't mean like... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, this was a very hard part for me and I would not make it on my own. Luckily, I got help. So what just happened? I passed the chains. I could not do it on my own. I got stuck in the middle and there was a couple who's hiking way above me now. They saw that I was struggling. So after some time this woman asked if uh, I need help and she kind of came back to help me and her husband also. Uh, thank you for the kind people. I don't think I could do it myself normally. It would take much more time and maybe some bruises. Check out these flowers. I really miss them first time I saw them was also in Tatry many years ago and now I associate these flowers with the mountains and it's so nice to see them every time. that moment when you don't really know if, uh, if your legs are shaking because of all of the hiking and the effort or because it's that beautiful. It's probably both. And guess who else made it here? A poodle. A poodle made it here. Now that's impressive. <laughs> 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 
by Greenest Lake. Darlings, it's time to go back to civilization. It's still from 8 to 10 kilometers back to the world depending on which route I can take. So I can walk to parking lot, which is eight kilometers, and take a bus or a taxi from there, or I can walk all the way to the Transcalomisa, and that would be around 10 kilometers. I came to a parking lot, so I guess I need to check the bus timetables from here. To the Trans Kolomnica, 1829. That's in 15 minutes, so not bad. I'm almost back. I would like to sum up my hike, but first I need to get back, take off the shoes and have a glass of wine. Okay. Now I'm ready to tell you about my trail. Uh, so I am staying between Stare Smukovets and Tatranskalomnica. So in the morning from here I took a train to Tatranskalomnica. This was first step. Second step was 15 minutes walk to the funicular and buying a ticket, which was pretty expensive. It was 24 euros. And it includes 2 euro of deposit. So if you return this card, you'll get it back. But I didn't, because this is going to be my souvenir. So there are basically three different funiculars, but I'm taking two of them, because I'm going to Skalna de Pleso. So when you go up the mountain, uh, there is there was this beautiful view and place where I took a break. And from there you can hike the very peak of the mountain, or you can take another trail. And that trail goes down the hill, and that's the one that takes you to Zelena Pleso. First part was easy, second part was medium, and third part, towards the end, it was hell, because there was this part with chains, which is... It was personally, for me, too technical. I'm not a climber at all. I'm so bad in climbing. I don't have steady legs, feet, whatever. Luckily, this one couple helped me, uh, so that's how I got down. And... Zelene Pleso is really worth a hike. It's so beautiful and so green, truly, truly green. And back I took the yellow trail. And I think at some point it changed to the blue trail. Yeah. That takes you to the parking lot where you can take a taxi or a bus. Last bus goes 1850 something, so be there on time and uh, the bus from there goes to Stary Smokovets. it's like its last point and the whole trip costs 90 cents so if you're stopping anywhere before that for example the Transkalomica or this place where I'm staying now which I can never pronounce it's like a monster you should never pronounce its name anyway um, it costs even less but I'm sure if you take a taxi, it shouldn't cost more than, I don't know, five, six euros. Anyway, this was my today's hike. Now I'm taking a rest. And tomorrow I'm actually gonna sleep on a table. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that place tomorrow. Bye, darlings. Thank you so much for watching and following me on my trails. I felt like I'm not alone there, like you were with me all the way. And... Uh, Stay curious. Bye.